50%. As we begin round number five, Lennox, the Lueveno corner said, make yourself small. Explain to the fans how one makes himself small. Well, what, he's, what they're saying is, you know, when it becomes a close fight, you know, don't stand up. Don't give yourself a big target. Make, make yourself a smaller target so you don't get hit. Good stiff jab by Lopez. Left hand over the top by Lueveno. And Lueveno's doing the right thing, I think. Trying to load up and catch something. Catch Lopez with something really hard in an exchange. Because in most of those exchanges, when they're just moving their hands, Lueveno's at a disadvantage. He's not as compact. He's not as accurate a puncher. So he's trying to load up and catch Lopez with one particular shot. Nice combination and, and by Lopez. The, and that's the mistake. One particular shot is, you know, you're really wishing in the win. You need to throw a number of different shots to be able to try and catch Lopez. Sure, but when he does that, he seems to be outworked and outlanded on the inside. And it looks like he's trying to surprise Lopez with something. With a, with a different level of power behind it. See, Lopez is, in, after every exchange, he's always first. He's always coming back first. He's not trying to think of a, being a counterpuncher. Nuevo is, is waiting. You don't wait. You be first. Being first is very important, especially in the minds of the judges, because they're seeing that you're being first, starting off the combination, Good. and you're ending the combination. Good uppercut there by Lopez. Haven't seen that punch from him. It is Leveno's strategy, his stated strategy, to take Lopez into the later rounds where he feels Lopez will become increasingly frustrated and, and will become laxer with his defense. Well, the last 11 fights for Lueveno have averaged 11 rounds of fight. He's not a big puncher. And Lueveno needs to be a little bit more on his toes. He's really flat-footed right now. And, you know, for a tall, lanky guy like that, he needs to be a little bit more on his toes. Lennox, if part of the strategy for Lueveno is trying to get Lopez into those later rounds, doesn't he need to be busier? I mean, he's been busier, but not appreciably busier than Lopez. Well, he's, he needs to be busy. As you can see, he's changed his style a little bit more. He's, he's elected to uh, give Lopez a little bit more pressure and see if he can make something out of that. See, I, I, of course, you see the taller fighter, and we've been saying he should be fighting at his distance at a better range for him in Lueveno. But when what he was doing wasn't working, he's now adapted and he's trying something new at least. You know, I asked him if he had a, a, had a game plan. He said he does. I said, do you have an alternate, alternate one? He said he does. And this is the ultimate game plan. You mean a, a secondary one to go to if the first one's not working? Uh, exactly.